hello friends welcome back to code tonight so in today's video we will see how we can use ajax begin form in asp.net mvc so uh, first of all we have to know like why we use ajax begin form so the regular begin the regular form that we use in the mvc is html begin form and when you use that and when you click on any submit button then it will reload the page but uh, ajax begin form helps us to submit the data without reloading the page so that's why we use ajax begin form so um, we will see first how it works okay so i have added the breakpoint on the controller side and here on the view i have used ajax begin form you can see over here okay so uh, like i will show you how that will work So here I have added two controls here and uh, what I want is I want to post the data from this on the controller and the main part is that it should not refresh the page or reload the page okay so I have added the name here and the address okay so when I click on submit you see we have got on the debugger um, but if you go on the browser you will see that it is not refreshing the page okay but uh, if you use the HTML begin form then you will notice that it is refreshing the page at the same time okay so now here we will see if we have got the data that we have entered okay so we have got the name and address that we entered on the form okay so here you can process your data like if you want to save the data or do anything with it then you can do over here and then the main part is the return part okay so uh, as i said it is a ajax begin form so we can return anything here in the json format okay so you can return any partial view from here or you can return any json data so you can specify any data here so i have just added the um, success message okay so now what happens is when you return the success message from where you can use that okay so on the view part you see we have added this on success method over here and we have mentioned that you have to use handle success function okay so that function you can create here in the script and this parameter can be anything but this will be having the value which you return from the controller okay so you returned the success message then you will get that in the result response okay so you can we have just alerted that you can do anything over here so uh, similarly you can have one more method here and that is on error method or on failure method so this also you can like uh, create any um, error method in the javascript and then you can call over here so that will also work fine okay so for now we will just remove that so uh, you see the syntax is simple for this ajax begin form and then you have to specify the action name where it will submit data and the controller name okay and then the http method is post and then we have to specify on success method which will help us uh, in getting the response and then doing anything with that okay so and the only requirement that is needed for this implementation is this uh, unobstrusive ajax uh, js okay so you have to know that you have to specify this on the header okay so sometimes what happens is if you place this below the page then uh, the ajax be informed cannot get that uh, js file and in that scenario what happens is it will still reload the page when you click on submit so if you have used ajax begin form and it is reloading while working then you have to make sure that your ajax is on the header side uh, after the jquery okay so that is the most important part that you have to remember so on uh, talking about the code uh, we will specify a direct link of the code but what you can do is you can go to our uh, official website cotonet.com and here if you go down you will see the blog using ajax begin form in asp.net mvc so 
you can open up the blog and we have attached the code sample which we just seen in the video okay so that is a chat and you can download that you can also see the same code here okay so if you have any kind of issue then you can comment on the video and thanks for watching guys